Uh, well, good morning. Um, here we are three weeks after my last video of our, our, our big summer holidays, which actually ended up only being a total of four days away. Well, technically three days away and the fourth day we spent uh, driving home. And that was already over three weeks ago. Three weeks has passed and a lot more has passed. So I'm just gonna back up a little bit and just tell you what happened on day two of our summer holidays. You know in the last video I was moaning and complaining about the heat and how uncomfortable it was. And by day two, when we actually hit lock 38, nine, 38, 40, lock 40. We stayed at lock 40 lock for the night. 40, yeah. And as soon as we got there, I think I mentioned in that video, if you wanna just go back and look at those uh, uh, first two videos of that grand adventure when we got there there was an excessive amount of uh, goose poo all over the place so that detracted from the uh, yay we're back at a lot fun um, uh, excitement that we normally had because we couldn't even sit outside because it was just so much bird poo now that's no fault of anybody that's just nature and sometimes that happens but given the fact that it was so hot and so uncomfortable and we didn't really have any sunshade other than staying on the cockpit of the boat or running the generator and staying inside with the air conditioning, which we had to do quite a bit. Um, bottom line, uh, day two, Anchor Girl and I were talking seriously about you know what we may want to do in the future. And we both came to the conclusion, and I don't want to hear one from you guys, that um, it just wasn't fun anymore. And so we wanted to do something else. There was no excitement. Right on. Okay. Anchor girl sitting beside me just to uh, <laughs> give her two cents. So I might as well spin this camera around. Yeah, so what was that, honey? I said there was no excitement left right. anymore. It was just... The thrill is gone. Yeah, it was just we've been doing this for so long. And it's like, I, I think I would like to try something different. Me too. Um, so we came I to that. travel yes. a little more. So we made that discussion. We just said, you know, uh, this is our 21st season traveling with a boat, going away and doing the Trent Severn Waterway and such. Uh, 25 years altogether. This is actually our 26th boating season. And it just, you know, when we got to where we got there, and uh, just given everything that I just mentioned, it was redundant, which I said a number of times in the last video. And that video was brought to you by the Department of Redundancy Department. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, uh, it was just, it was very redundant for, for both of us because the problem or the issue or the condition that we felt that we were in at that point was, why would we even go any farther on that trip? It would have been really, really nice to, and maybe we might have uh, ended up with a different uh, feeling about it. I don't think so. I wouldn't have. No. Um, I kind of felt that last year. Yeah, you were saying. Out, it was just. Yeah. There's there's no fun left. It, it, it just it. I just turn this light on. It's just. Um, there we go. It just wasn't the same yeah. as before. Looking forward to going out on the boat and traveling and yeah and doing. Been there. doing fun stuff it was we've already done <laughs> all this stuff been there done that been there done that yeah got the t-shirt uh, to quote jimmy buffett i'm just i just want to i don't want to get out of boating mm -hmm. um but i would like to do something smaller yeah and just be able to just get in it and go but have something that we can still go we away can if we still go to away for if a night. we want. Yeah. But I don't want to have that feeling that I feel obligated having this yeah. boat sitting here in a slip and obligated to feel like I have to use it with everything uh, that's sitting here. Absolutely. A lot of money sitting here. And um, I I don't know if I brought this up, but when we sold our 400 sedan bridge, and I still hear about it today, oh, Paul, why did you sell that boat? It was so beautiful. Yes, it was beautiful. I have a video. I'm going to put a link in the description to that. 
but we basically at the same point where we weren't using that boat for the last couple of years and we just said there's a lot of money and commitment to keeping that boat at the marina yeah not only commitment financially but commitment to the boat i mean you're just not going to walk away from a boat like this and just say we're done and 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 this this isn't the type of boat i can have just sitting here for three four weeks on end if we want to go away um the grandkids are getting older yeah go away do something with them i just don't want this just sitting here in the marina and i don't want to just come and just sit in the marina no we don't want a dock queen no a dock queen being you know a big boat that just sits in the marina and does a lot of nothing that's okay for some people and we've seen a lot in our last marina there was i would say the majority of the boats that were there never left or slept you know for the people that were actually there i would say half the boats you never see anybody on them anyways and most marinas don't know why people invest and just abandon their boats but we're not going to do that we're not going to have a dock queen we're not going to sit here and just sit out back and um, that's that's not what i want to do no me neither it, that, that gets lame pretty quick and we don't want to do that anymore so two big things we're not getting out of boating we're going to sell this boat it is now August already of uh, of the season, and so um, we want to we want to be able to move forward with something else. First of all, we're not getting out of boating, as Anchor Girl just said. We're going to get something smaller, yeah. like a cuddy cabin. Yeah. Um, <laughs> two big prerequisites: it's got to have a toilet on it, running water, like a sink or something. We don't have all have to have necessarily all the amenities, but we got to have a fridge and uh running water toilet it'll be like going back to basics bingo and um (laughs) don't suggest any boats that we may should look at we've already got a couple in mind and i'm just going to leave it at that because we're not going to buy anything this season we're going to look over the winter and see what we come up with and the other thing is no i'm not going to stop doing videos on the channel i'm not going to stop doing boating videos on the channel i've got a list of probably 40 i'm looking over there at my phone i keep when i have the ideas i write it down i keep a list and so um moving forward i will share a lot of those videos so that's not going to be done however the other thing is like anchor girl just said we want to travel more and that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to go to europe for the <laughs> for the season or florida a lot but local traveling the places that we've never been able to see see. because it's summertime and again the commitment to the boat in the summer we're not going to just squander that time and not use the boat and see this is the other problem Uh, we got to the point we came to the conclusion that we're basically beholden to the boat right. we, we we had to use the boat it's summertime we got to go out on the boat we got to be on the boat for any length of time every weekend as much during the weekend during the week as we could as well um, so we're looking to do more traveling yeah. to Just even local places like exactly the Kingston Penitentiary right. in Kingston Ontario which we drove by again look at my video from our 2022 trip and we drive by with the boats like well that would be so neat to go there because it's closed down it's an old old penitentiary but they have tours and i've said that for a few years yeah I'd like let's to go, go there. there but we couldn't because it's a summer thing <laughs> it's a summer thing and this is our summer thing it's always been our summer thing there's other places um where we have visited either by car when traveling to buy the boat or the last boat or even the boat before which we said we'd like to come back, back to. and do a weekend, right. but not necessarily by the boat. Some places you can't get to directly by boat. So moving forward, there's a number of spots that we want to go visit that are related to our boating life and inspired by our boating life. And hopefully it can inspire you too, because I am going to film as much as I can and show you around and see what it's all about, why we decided to go to those these places intermingled with whatever. In fact, we already went away. We did have one vacation, not a vacation. <laughs> what, okay, what would you call it? A getaway. It was just a night away. A night away. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Well, it that, wasn't somewhere that we had been without the boat. We had right. been there before yeah. with the boat. Yeah. Um, but it was just uh, they a had a place to go. A place to go, and uh, it was nice yeah. just to uh, not do have something to different. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, to be able, just, it was is it's nice to be able to just, just back the yeah. car into a parking yeah. spot rather than tie up yeah. on a dock. Yeah. And spoiler alert, where it was, where we had visited you know, two weekends ago, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because last weekend was a long weekend, so I think it was the weekend before. Um, uh, it was Peterborough. And again, and a place that they can concert. Yeah. And it was like, oh, well, let's, let's go. So it's not something that we could have just said with the boat, oh, no. let's go. Because that would have taken us days and days and days to get there. Well, not days and days. The way and we freaking travel, woman, yeah. day one of our holidays, we only got to lock 40, which is if one had a really, really strong throwing arm, you could probably throw a stone at it from here. It's half an hour by car, but it takes us a day to get there. So, anyways, Peterborough, um, again, look in my channel, look at the old videos. We've been traveling there since we had our 300, so that's four boats ago. Yeah. Uh, we stayed there a number of times, and there is a hotel right beside the marina, and, well, you're going to have to see the video to see what we saw, because it's amazing. I've often, often said it's a different world traveling by boat, and it's a different world traveling back there by car, and we'll just, we'll leave it at that, and I'll show you what we experienced. But it was a fun time. We had a yeah, place with a balcony nice. yeah. overlooking the marina and overlooking yeah. the water yeah, and overlooking nice. all the sketchy uh, people walking by. Again, you're going to have to watch the video. So these are the type of things that we're hoping to do. What we are going to be doing moving forward is we're going to be traveling to look for another boat. We're going to be traveling just for the sake of seeing these places that we've wanted to see many, many times in the past over the years. And yes, that includes even traveling back to the good old US of A because there's a couple of spots. There's one on the top of the list which was just by chance we happened to see it and that was because we were doing a roundabout way to maybe look at a boat coming back from Florida, blah, blah, blah. And we're gonna go there. Yeah. So that'll be next year, somewhere where we wanna go with the kids. And coming up still this year, we're gonna go to Niagara Falls with the kids yeah, for a we weekend. a couple of nights booked, booked away with them. Yeah. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that because we went there last, <laughs> eight years ago with the kids and our grandkids. We only had two grandkids, now we got three. three. And like Anchor Girl just said, the kids aren't getting any younger, either are we. So we want to be able to share these experiences with the kids, right? Yeah. Our grandkids. Yes. Our kids, well, well. whatever, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yes, my dear, I just said that out loud. Cause yes, yes, I know you're watching. Like they're, they're getting older and yeah. it won't be long before they're going, ah, want to go and see those so anyways that's what we're doing moving forward so uh just not getting out of boating not getting out of boating you're going to get another boat just <laughs> boating differently differently yeah something that i think it will be um a little bit more enjoyable at this time how um just to because you don't have to spend two weeks on the boat with me uh, yes <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a good one but just easier yeah to get up and go yeah and something if we just want to go out for the day just throw the anchor in yeah go, go swimming swim. or something it's easier to at least I think it'll be easier just to get in it and, and right. go yeah yeah and, and beyond that we... and not feel obligated that I have to stay on it right and beyond that, we've had this boat out of the marina three times all year. And I'm just going to get back to our our four days holiday, three and a half days. So three days of holiday and one day driving home, which was okay. Um, that was okay. Anyways, we put, I don't know, 10, 12 hours maybe on the big engines. But we put over 16 hours on the generator because we were running it, running it, running it, not continuously, but having to, and the kitty cats were uncomfortable. Yeah. And also, uh, we love them to death, and we love having them in our lives, but also with a smaller boat, it'll be easier because we don't have to bring them in here and do that. So the smaller boat, we can just, the two of us, jump on it, go out for a day of swimming or whatever, and I hope to bring you along with that as well. And if you feel like staying a night somewhere, you can stay a night. Because it'll have a little cuddy cabin right. and a bed and a beer fridge. Right. And maybe even air conditioning if I put that. Maybe even a vacuum flush toilet. I'm, I, honestly, I'm already thinking about the projects that I'm going to have to obligate myself to do on that boat. So there's going to be a lot of that too. So just 
Don't you worry, and my friend. Who friends. knows? After two years, we might be moving up to a big boat again. Well, this is the problem. She says, you know, we don't need this big boat because we don't need this big boat. Let's just get a small boat, right? Yeah. Because let's back up again. Just putting that out there. At the beginning of the season, she was pushing hard for a big boat. No, 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 no. Well, somebody in this boat was. You were. Hmm. And I was for the one size down from that one. Yeah, so when it was, we were looking at a bigger <laughs> boat, maybe, possibly, but there was a period of time that we were like, oh, yes. no, yeah, you were yeah. all excited. Yeah. But then that excitement kind of dwindled because yeah. of whatever. And so... It, because it was like... I'm at that same point. If I have a bigger boat right now, right. I just we'll be don't stuck on that big boat in the marina basically most right. of the time. Anyways, in a couple of years or longer, we'll see what life throws at us, and we may get back into a bigger boat. And when I say a bigger boat, bigger than this, but not hugely bigger. We don't know. We don't know. Um, there's always <laughs> a good selection on yachtworld.com and boats.com and so on and so forth. So whatever, we're, we're not looking, we're not looking. We're gonna just move forward with this. Yeah, idea. just downsize for now and then who knows what happens. And little Monkey Doki is doing really well on this trip. Good little traveler for the most part. Until he sees a fly. Until he sees a fly. McFly. And then he wants to chase it all over the place, which is not necessarily a good thing. But otherwise, he's okay. The little tiny whiny is just lying there like a good little gentleman. No problems. Now, one other, <laughs> one other unfortunate event that happened when we were bringing the boat back. Now let's make this perfectly clear, my friends. What I'm gonna tell you what happened to my lovely anchor girl had no bearing whatsoever on our decision no. to sell the boat. Our decision had been made two days prior to this happening. Yeah. But what did happen was, uh, so like say day one, day two, we were staying at one lock, we went to the top of the uh, Kirkfield lift lock, and the third day you had vertigo really bad, something that you suffered with, with in the past. Last, last year, year on, the on this boat and so yeah. she's down for the day and sick and and just like very very wobbly unstable so the third day we're at the top of the kirkfield lift lock i don't have any video of that i have a couple of photos that i took and that was it because she was inside sleeping trying to get better i was yeah there, there, there was nothing i could do um even going home that day would not was not an option so we didn't so we just stayed there till you were feeling a bit better right yeah and by the end of the day because you woke up with it by the end of yeah. the day around five o'clock it was it was super it was windy as hell all day and of course i'm looking at the weather because we both knew we wanted to get home when i say home back to the marina at least so we have shore power air conditioning that was our overriding focus trust me and um it was the end of that day that the winds calmed down. The next day was supposed to be nice, which it was. Yeah, it yeah. was, it was, it, the day started off nice, so it was going to be a good travel day. So at the end of the day, maybe in around six o'clock, this was just before the just lock before closed, the lock, yeah. and she was starting to get a bit better. So I said, Why don't we, if you're up to it, I don't need your help, but I said, I'm going to spin the boat around. We'll go through the lock and drop it down. We'll just spend the night at the bottom of the lock so we can get going earlier in the morning before the locks even start operating, you know, we can travel. Um, so that's what we did. And you made it, right? Yeah. You're fine. Yeah. I, even, I just sat on the front of the boat. Yeah. I called the lock staff over as we were heading into it. I just said, you know, could I get in you like to give me a hand? Yeah, I said, if you can, I said, just meet us at the bottom of the lock on the wall because we're just going to pull out and tie up, which is what we did, where the last video ended up from. I said, if you can just grab it because my first mate wasn't well. But by the time we got down, they were already tied up. So anyway, so that was that. So that night, the next morning, we were up and bright and early, and we headed out fairly and early. Still... You're still a little bit wobbly. And um, even though I asked you, a million times are you okay do you want to stop no 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 I, I kept saying we can stop anywhere along the line yeah. and we'll just spend another day or two or three whatever yeah. whatever I'll call a cab to get us home yeah. 
Um, so she insisted insisted she was fine. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. Good enough, anyways. So I we was just sitting there. Yeah. So we had three locks to get through, three or four locks from there, <coughs> and um, yeah, thirty six to forty one. So what? Five locks? I don't yeah. know. And so when we went through lock forty one which was the last lock that we had to travel through to get out and on to Lake Simcoe and then back here where our home port is on farther up on Lake Simcoe. Well, anyway, so Anchor Girl's at the bow of the boat doing the lines, you know, just pull the line off because we were going through the lock. So she handles the bow lines, as you all know. She was being very careful. You were being very careful. And I kept saying, slow down, Coise. Yeah, 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 no problem. I'm so she right. was moving a little bit, in my opinion, too quick. And I, I'm showing you the video. I'm not going to show you what happened, but I'm just going to tell you that. So she's moving around, pulling the fenders up and securing the lines. And I kept saying, leave the fenders. Well, if we go across the lake, they might start bouncing. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. You know that. I don't, what's the worst that's going to happen? Are we going to lose a fender? We've done that twice in the past. So she's, no, 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 I'm going to pull the fenders up. I didn't up. even get all of them pulled up. Okay, all right, see, should have just left them. So what happened? So bow of the boat, walked along the side of the boat, and came in, as she always does, choosh, around the corner, and I installed... A handle. Year one, yeah. an extra and handle. And I uh, grabbed the handle. On the inside of the um, radar arch. And I went to put my foot down. Yeah. And it was like somebody just Push, pushed yeah. me. Yeah. Um, Crash, just, boom, yeah, bang. Okay. And what have I been saying for the last 25 years? It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, then you're gonna fall down on the boat because yeah. she moves too quick. Vertigo or not, not she's always like that, 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 with no shoes on. I, can't, I have to feel where my feet are. All right, so anyways, what happened was I didn't film it. I was driving the boat and looking back and watching her, keeping an eye because I knew she was a little bit wobbly or a lot wobbly and just go easy 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 and like she said she came around the corner and you didn't grab you just your hands no, um, disappeared. I know my hand grabbed touched hold it. Of it yeah but, but it you grabbed like, it like um, like this give me your hand you grabbed it like that well so, I guess that's because I was going at that point yeah so you came in like I don't even remember going yeah I do. I was watching it. So she flies inside the boat. Boom, crash. You're in. Hit the, the, the back of the seat in the cockpit, the aft facing seat, and said, Oh, well, I didn't get a bruise like this from that because there's a cushion. Yeah, but under that cushion, it. Solid fiberglass. So. You asked me not to, so I'm not going to show you, but this eye swelled up and it was, <laughs> it was gross. Well, you had a little cut because you're not these glasses because they're at Walmart getting replaced because <laughs> she broke the glasses, her sunglasses, hitting down. But I didn't knock myself out. I didn't hurt. I didn't hurt anything. Yeah. Like nothing hurt. Yeah. So anyways. But I ended up with a black eye. Right. Here's me now driving the boat through a channel. And that's what happens front, when you start the... hitting me. I <laughs> end up with a black eye. <laughs> now that you said that, I'm going to have to show that photo. <laughs> no, 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 no. So anyway, she's lying there like, uh, uh, uh. You can imagine what, you know, the big expletive, expletive word that she said when she hit the ground. So I, you know, threw the boat in it, neutral. So now we're drifting, tried to get her up and blah, 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 blah. She came around and we, we drove home. And when we got out to the lake, because you were up and about and you yeah. were fine at that point. Yeah. Not fine, but you were up and about. Yeah. And so I'm looking at your eye and she had a cut there and that, the cut there, and that would have been from the glasses smashing against her face. And then it was, it swelled up immediately, but the next day, oh my God, it looked like Mike Tyson <laughs> gave a few rounds. And what what happened right after that? Because she had that shiner on for a week or yeah, two. A week. Everybody that she showed it to right away, <laughs> Paul. Paul, Paul, my sister, who we happened to meet by chance, 
when we were in Peterborough two weeks ago, we're just walking through, hey, there's, there's my sister and our nephew. And so, blah, blah, blah. And so she takes off her glasses, and my sister sitting beside, standing beside me, she slams, she goes, Paul. And I said, why does everybody do that? Because it looked like it was like, oh, you want a fresh one, woman? But I didn't get hurt. No. I just but you were still up. wobbly for a week. Yeah. Right? The or more. Ago, yeah. It's been three then, weeks now. Yeah, but I was fine. And then we came back on the boat last weekend and stayed at night. And then I felt it again. Yeah. Um, I feel okay today. I, I was fine after we got home. The next yeah. day I was, like, totally fine. So I'm, but I'm okay today. Mm. I don't know if it's the movement. Oh, I man. I am so tempted to use one of the photos of her bruised eye as the thumbnail of this video. Oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. You're all better now, thankfully. Yeah. And it has been... Uh, I'm looking forward to moving on. Me too. And it has been surprisingly nice just yeah. sitting at home on the weekend. Like you said, we were here last weekend was a long weekend, so we came yeah. here Saturday. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Saturday lunchtime-ish. Yeah. And then uh, we spent the night, and then we went home the next day lunchtime-ish. So then we had Sunday, and then all day Monday just to kick around You're not the house. like using this whole hour-long video, are you? Sure, why not? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> and our two little kitty cats, of course, they're they're happy because they love being around us, and yeah. they're, they're content being at home. Yep. And I think maybe even a little bit more so because they don't have the uh, little bit of stress every week of driving to the boat and driving home because little tiny does not like being in the car. But he loves the boat. They both love the boat. Yeah, that's the only sad part because uh, little Mocha, he was really a really good He was really kitty, good, yeah. Right? They were for both traveling. really, yeah. really good for... Little Tiny's been doing it for yeah. four and a half seasons. Yeah, so. and Mocha, no, no, no issues, issues with him. No. Nope. The no only issues. problem was we had to keep an eye on him because... He, he's, he sees a bug, you know, he's still, yeah. he's not even a year right. old yet, so he sees a bug and he wants to go. So that was a concern, right. keep an eye on him, but apart from that, he was fine. He was great, yeah. But that's the other issue that we had, because we have two kitty cats on the boat, and if they're not inside, they're out in the cockpit with us, and so we have to have all the canvas right. zipped up. I mean, the yeah. screen's open, yeah. right? Yeah. But you don't get a ton of air movement with that if right. there's no a ton, if there's not a ton of air movement outside. But they were actually um, pretty good leaving the back door. Yeah, up, open. Yeah. And we could get off the boat, and they would, but they were really good with just sitting in the back and just yeah. just looking Watching. at us. Yeah, a couple times. Yeah, just yeah. go back and just you know put your yeah. hand around them and say, "Come no. on back in there, buddy." But yeah, um, we uh, actually, you know, we had that experience here at the marina too. Because if we were sitting outside on the deck here, uh, on the dock, we could, you know, I planted myself looking back at the boat. Just so that's that, my friends. Now I'm gonna final. I'm gonna cut this off by just saying, please don't ask me about this boat for sale and on and on and on. If the boat's for sale and available, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the ad. Any questions, any communication, go through that because it'll come to my email. I'm not going to answer a million questions about this and that through YouTube because uh, it's a worldwide audience and it's going to be half pointless unless you're in the Lake Simcoe area uh, to even you know talk about it. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to give you that up front. Again, if the link is in the description for the listing that means it's available if it's not that means it's all all right and that will put us forward to the next grand adventure yeah yeah i'm looking forward to it you know i'm going to say this uh also we've had you know over three and a half weeks to really really ponder it and i i catch myself i don't know what the, what the emotion is but I thought I would have been sad to sell the boat because we never had... The only reason that we sold all our prior boats, all of them, from our 18-footer yeah. right up to the last 33, was to get... We had in mind that next boat yeah. that we wanted, that bigger yeah. boat. So it was, it was inspirational because, yay, 
we're not selling the boat. We're just making room for the new boat, the but next it's boat. The same now. It's just different. A different boat, yeah. right? So it's the the same. Whether you're going up or down, or you're still, we're not getting out of boating. We're just yeah. going to be doing well, it a little different. Yeah, it was the same thing when we sold the four hundred. We debated what we were going to do then because yeah. that big boat we weren't using. We yeah. just said same thing midway through the season let's just sell the boat and do something else and we actually looked at the possibility of buying maybe two sea dues yeah. and traveling around trailer then yeah. around go to yeah. different places and that ended up being a no and then we were going to get a 310 sun dancer yeah. so again just something small but the problem there as you know only had one fridge and so that's why we went with the 330 our last boat lots of videos on the channel so we're going from let's call this a big boat right down to a smaller boat but a boat that we can still use and not hugely unlike what we started with our right. first sea ray right? right that size yeah. style of boat you yeah. know just limited uh limited yeah. uh stuff on board back to the basics back to the basics right maybe the next one might even be another sea ray that would be C Ray Seven. This is C Ray Six for our C Ray Seven. Woohoo! And then if she wants to get the bigger boat, that would be C Ray Eight. Honest to God, C Ray should start sponsoring me for all this. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna finally stop talking, my dear, and I'm gonna stop talking to you guys. So, yeah, that's that, and that's it. That is our big, long-winded explanation, Lucy, of what is going on in our lives with the boat. So. Yeah. Who hot of that? And on to bigger and better, smaller, better <laughs> <laughs> adventures. We're really, really looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah. Okay, my friends, that's it. As always, I look forward to your comments. Cheers. No questions about the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Not, no question about the boat sale or what we're going to buy. I'm not going to let that out just yet because we don't know. But I will let you follow along as we move forward with that. So that's it for this one. I'll say cheers with a Corona Lake, but we don't have any. Cheers. Clang. Okay, see you on the next one.